Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and I find myself once again playing some of the Lost Eidolons playtest. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, the developers have asked that I don't show you any of the story, any of the role-playing or exploration elements in between the fights, so I can't show you leveling up my guys. I'm only allowed to show you the actual combat encounters themselves. So here we have a situation where our group of three chaps from the last fight, and as you can see damage is not carried over, have reunited with two more members of our company. However, a bunch of local soldiers have turned up to give us some grief, and they threatened to arrest us, and we said no thank you very much, and they said look we're the law. So in this episode we're going to fight the law and hope the law doesn't win. I am seeing two, four, six, seven, eight, nine enemies. And our goal here is somewhat different. Our goal is to make the enemy guard captain go down. We don't need to defeat all the others. And we need to keep our leader alive as well. Now, in this case, we might want to um, do some deployment. Let's say, can we, uh, can we go over here? Can we get a better view of the situation? Basically, I think that's the chat we're going for. Right? We can't see. So, what am I going to do with these enemies? They are staggered. We have a group here, a group here, a group here, and a big group at the back. They might not all be linked. If we can take out this group here, these will probably come attack us. And then when we go deal with the archer, that group will probably come in, and then this group. So... It's like a rolling battle working our way forwards, and all of the buildings are tiny again, and our people are giants. They're larger than life characters indeed. So, this is the default deployment for this scenario, and I'm tempted to go for default deployment every time. I'm also thinking, get our spearman up here. Where could we put him? Um, hello. You could go, like, are you limited to this yellow area? Oh, you might be. Okay. Uh, where where can you go? Can you go here? Um, interesting. Or is it literally the yellow spots? Yes, it's the, it's these spots. Okay, I see. Our hero stays where he is and these go on these deployment spots. In which case, I'm reasonably comfortable with this and I'm ready to go into the fight. Now, I am treating this as I haven't had an opportunity to level up anyone or give them new equipment yet or anything like that. I'm treating this like a, as if there was permadeath, so I'm going to try to keep everyone alive, although it won't be easy. Let's see how this goes. All right, Guard Captain Carl, we're coming for you. We're probably going to have to tackle him last anyway, because he's hiding right at the back. I can't say I'm surprised, but that doesn't make this any less frustrating. You really intend to put up a fight, don't you? You're the one picking a fight, Carl. What the hell's your problem? So, we're outnumbered. I have no reason to suspect we outclass our opponents. And they definitely have much better equipment than us. However, if we defeat them, we might be able to wear their stuff. Possibly even use it as a disguise in our next mission. You know I'm only following Lord Rodrigo's orders. What cause does he have to arrest us? He doesn't need a reason. You should know that by now. Lords give the orders. We carry them out. Yes, and you work for the corrupt empire who has invaded our lands. Now drop the weapon and come with me. Like hell I will. We're not going anywhere until you tell us what we're being charged with. All right, boy, have it your way. Don't blame me for what happens next. <laughs> Robin, stop him from advancing as much as you can. Well, Robin might have some amazing shooting ability. Okay. You can use your bow to attack enemies from a distance. By default, a unit wielding a bow can attack or counterattack enemies located two tiles away. But those are. But not those that are adjacent 
directly adjacent. So yeah, not even spaces next to him, but one extra space away. Like, bu -bu -bu -bu, these ones don't count. You got it, Cap! Well now, Robin. Um, what do we want to do? You... If we were to make you shoot from here, you couldn't attack anywhere very significantly. But the question is, we can probably take these two down, but how quickly do we want to be advancing on the others? Another more important question is, Leon doesn't have a shield. We can't get him to the man with the bow. We can get him to this man. I think we probably should... Wait, 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 wait. If we can soften him up with an arrow first. Oh! No, that's right, yeah. Okay. Then he might not get to hit back. Right. So if we take Robin to here. And then, no, no, here. And then shoot this fellow. Yeah, that might work. I'm liking the feel of this. Also, you notice in his portrait, he already has better equipment. So, we just aren't seeing our gear yet. So then we'll send Leon over to here and say, Axe attacks. Yeah, you don't get to fight back, mate. <laughs> When hit by an attack, there is a chance a unit will block it, reducing the damage by 50%. The higher a unit's guard stat, the more likely they are to block attacks. Good to know. And I presume defending raises our guard stat. When attacking an enemy, there is a chance a unit will strike a powerful blow, dealing 50% more damage. The higher a unit's critical hit rate, the more likely they are to land a critical hit. Absolutely. Now, what we want to do is pull the attention of these two without getting those two involved. Hey, Francisco, this guy's got a bow. We don't like him having a bow. Let's send you up to here and attack. And now, at this point, while Eden is our main character, let oh, Robert's already level two. Hello, that's... I was like, hey, let's give this guy some experience as well, right? Lovely. And then if we advance Eden to here and defend, that might help. Oh yeah, he came right in. What about you, Archer? Are you gonna... Oh, you ran right up and shoot the guy further away. Oh, nasty, okay. Well, we don't like you, we'll shoot you back. Hey, Eden! You really wanna fight the whole bunch? Uh, no, not exactly, Francisco. Why don't I just charge through the gap and take out their leader? What, the, the gap over here as opposed to... Yeah, that, that could work. I mean, it's not really a gap, but hey. Forget it! Trying to move past an enemy will just stop you dead in your tracks. The four tiles directly adjacent to a unit are its zone of control, or ZOC. If a unit enters an enemy's Zoc while moving, it cannot travel any further that turn, even if there is still movement remaining. Don't trip over your socks, you won't go anywhere. Stay calm and focus on defeating the front line. Well, hey, look, about that front line. Francisco, mate. This is a sword. I think you know how to use it well.
Oh, we are definitely getting the benefits of massive armor already. These chaps don't know what's hitting them. Right, and we got a bow, and we can blatantly shoot this guy. Because he's not going to fight back. Oh, wow, that was a little overkill. So then... If we send you... Where, where can you go first? Yes, you can reach here. Almost got him. Oh, and he doesn't get to attack back at close range. Yeah, of course. So now, we have you, who can't reach and need to be protected because you... I'm suspecting... I mean, yeah, we can't get him from here. That's fine. So, we'll wait. Eden, my man. Kill him. Well, look, at least knock him out or something, right? Yo, know, cut his belt so his trousers fall down or something to make him not want to fight anymore. And that should make it the enemy turn. Okay, these two chaps have noticed. We're going to have to tackle them. Oh, you're sitting in the puddle. These guys are stronger than I expected. If you get hurt, drink a potion when you have the chance. How many potions do we have? You can use items in your possession by selecting the inventory command. Using the right items at the right time is key to turning the tides of battle. That shouldn't be plural, but okay. This chap's going to hit back and he's going to hit back hard. We've got an archer. So, if we, we got a here. It's, um, right, where can everyone go? Can, so you can't reach anyone this turn. You can, you can, um, interesting, okay. But you can't go here. Oh, no, you can. Yeah, right. Right, so we can shoot. We can attack with four people this turn. We should check who has potions. Oh, wow, you got lots of potions. Uh, looks like everyone... I shouldn't assume this... Everyone seems to have free potions, which means we can take some serious risks. All right. So we can't reach the archer this turn. We can reach this chap and try and put him down. Okay, if we go to... Ooh! So we can only attack from two places and a bow. All right. Let's totally do that then. Okay, okay, right. So I'm going to send Francisco around the side here and use a sword attack here. Now, the downside here is the counter-attack damage we take which sets us up for the archer. You can reverse the last action by selecting undo from the system menu. However, you can only undo a certain number of times per battle. Upon completing the battle, all uses will be restored. I'm reasonably comfortable with that action, to be honest. I would I would like it if there was an option to have no undos. Right. Mate, you got a two-handed axe, you need the experience, you need to be hitting people when they're too weak to hit back. Lovely. Now, that does create a problem for us, obviously. Or does it? So. Aha! Attack! Now. We can't get into a good position to shoot him yet. 
And if we come up here, that fence is going to cause problems and obstruction. We can't move through it anyway. So we want to be moving up this way, but not too close to the enemy. So let's just go to here. There now we can go all the way here. And Robin is wounded, so we'll have him drink a potion. Uh, Robin, are you going to drink this potion or what? There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. And then Robert, let's get you near the fight. You got your... Let's go up this way. Spear and shield, defend. Now you, you're going to shoot someone a bit further back. Oh, Francisco, of course, because it's a diagonal. So here's what we're going to do. All right, everyone, it's time to get focused. As soon as we get within range, he'll make his move. When you position the cursor on an enemy, their wrist range is displayed, showing which tiles are within their reach. You can left-click to freeze the riff risk range display. Press the F key or click the scroll wheel to display the risk, re risk range of all enemy units. You can press again to, click the, to clear the screen. Okay, one moment. F. So yeah, we're kind of safe on this diagonal row here. Don't worry about this chap. But having him here makes measuring that diagonal nice and simple. Right, so Francisco, you're going to go to here and drink a potion. I don't know if we're going to get new potions, but hey. Oh, right, you need to complete drinking the potion that you got. Silly me. All right, Eden, you could probably get the, the kill here, but should we... Let's feed it to the Axeman. It gets him a bit nearer the fight, and... Until he gets better armor, he is very vulnerable, because he's not using a shield. Once we... So he is a high priority for... Um, an armor upgrade. Right, you, my friend, get to go to here. Oh, this is going to be so simple. You get to go up to here. And you, I suppose you just get to wait for now. No, 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 no. Let's go to here. Then wait. And our enemies are waiting very politely for us. So we can come round here. Um, we can bottleneck them here fairly reasonably. The thicket. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We don't want to fight them in the scenery. So I do think coming around here is slightly advantageous to us. Right. In that case... Uh, right, how do we move the camera again? It, the toolkit disappeared really quickly. I'm going to have to go back and view it in the first video and check what it said. Right, and you... Ah, oh, you only get to go to here. That's a bummer. Right, and you, mate, leg it up to there. I know that's much more direct, but we're being a little bit tricksy and careful here, right? Because, um... We don't want to die. Okay, okay. So this is kind of our, our stopping point. I think one more turn. Um... No, let's, uh... Let's play a game called Bait and Hit. It's like Bait and Switch, but with Hit. I'd love to get you in this square there, but we just can't do it yet, mate. And you, my friend, get to run to here. I mean, maybe round there in case they split, but we're good. Come to me, my enemies. Yeah, that's right. Who wants to get killed?
We need to be a little less cocky about using Eden to take the hits. Oh yeah, that's right. That's where I want you. Alright, let's think about this for a moment. Leon, get in there and hit him with a bloody big axe. That's just what I wanted. Because that allows Robin to move into position to shoot the guard captain, who will then not retaliate. Oh, that's superb. Now, Robert, can we get you in here and mess up this archer a bit? He won't be able to fight back either, because he's just got a bow. And if we take him down, we... Oh, long way round. Okay, okay. Um, one, two, three... Might be four turns to get I think you're almost better off just going here, to be honest. And drinking a potion. Also, hope your mate doesn't die. Uh, Francisco, my fine friend. Uh, there's this lovely action called defending that you should probably take, but... He can't shoot anyone apart from him. We can attack. Um, let's not do that. Let's defend. I don't know if taking down this archer first is going to help us in any way. But I really want it to. I mean, apart from the... Yeah, yeah. So he's taking the big hit here. Oh, mate, don't do that. You're making it really hard for us to take down that archer. Okay, can you please? Oh, how beautiful. Yeah, just do it. Since we seem to get a full heal after a fight at every fight anyway. And then Eden will get the kill on the leader. Hey, Robert gets to be level three. Wonderful. I haven't had any opportunity to manually level things yet. Right, let's do it. Oh! What have you got to say now? Hmm. Your skills are wasted in Lunetta. But you're still just a common mercenary. Oh! Are you going to automatically just arrest us now anyway? I have my orders. I mean, if he's not, this fight just got really hard. If you continue resisting, you leave me no choice. And you can't really pronounce three dots. But it looks like we got some experience for defeating him. And maybe even winning the mission. Hooray! That counts as a win, even though we're now blatantly been arrested. So, um, while we were originally going to be rescuing someone from prison, we might be rescuing all of ourselves from prison in the next scenario. All right, I'll look forward to seeing you in that one. Bye for now, everyone. Hope you've all enjoyed this one. See you all next time.